Hello and welcome to my carnivorous plant update. Um, I don't have very many, I only have three. Um, I did a haul about a month ago, I think. I will link it up there if you would like to watch it. Um, but yeah, I have moved these. So I don't know if you know, but carnivorous plants, or at least these carnivorous plants, um, really need to have a dormant period. Um, so when I got them, they were in dormancy and uh, the information that came with it basically said that they should be kept somewhere cold like a garage windowsill or something like that um, until mid-February and then they can move into a warmer place where they can I don't know what the word for undormancy undormant, is they can grow again um, and then I believe I've written it down so I don't forget I think it's the, like the end of October or mid-October somewhere around there they need to go out again into dormancy so this is true for more than just these plants I know um cacti and succulent also have this I'm sure there's loads as well um I think phalaenopsis orchids you're supposed to do that for as well so yes as I was saying uh they've just come inside I moved them inside on Monday and it's now Friday so they haven't been inside very long um, but you can kind of see signs that they were coming out of dormancy because when they were downstairs I had them in the conservatory um, which obviously does get hot when the sun's out it does get hot but mostly it's cold um, and I don't know whether because it, it did start to heat up from the few bits of sun that we had um, that they like started to grow again I don't know but you could see that they, they just were starting to do some things so I thought it's definitely the right time to bring them in um, so the first one, I'll show you the one that's probably done the least, is this one. And yeah, I'm not going to try and say the names, but I'll put them on the screen. These are all sundews. Um, and if you did watch my carnivorous haul, you'll probably notice that they're quite a lot bigger than they were, like literally even only in a month or so. Um, but you can see underneath, like, maybe if this angle was better, those tiny it leaves down there are the ones that it had when it was in dormancy and then these few that it's been putting out here are the ones it's put out since i've bought them inside um so you can see like there's a really big difference between um dormancy and not dormancy which like sounds like a stupid thing to say i guess but i was just surprised how quickly um how quickly it seemed to change and you can see on this leaf here there is a fly, so it's caught a fly already, which is really, really good. So yeah, that's the first one. The second one is the biggest one. It's going to be kind of hard to show you because they're in trays. Actually, let me swap them over. I'll put them all in that cover pot because they're all drippy as you leave these standing in water. Um, yeah, they should all be, it said on the instructions to have them standing in about two inches of rainwater, so that's what I've been doing. Um, so yes, this is the second one, um, which is like so much bigger than it was. It's put out so many new leaves. I'm really, really impressed. Obviously, they're, they're quite small plants. They're not like big plants, but it's fairly big for, for what it is, I feel. Um, and it actually caught a flight in the conservatory. Um, which was quite a big fly. I don't know if you can see it there. On, one, on this sort of like older frond here. I don't think you can see, but anyway, it's quite a big fly on there. Um, and then literally since I brought it upstairs, it's caught one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flies in four days. I mean, I do have a fungus net issue. That's one of the reasons I bought these plants. Um, so yeah they are doing their job um it's really funny actually they're all i don't know if you can see they're like all on this one here like this one was like super tasty or something you see them on there there's literally four flies on that one but they're so interesting i love like this is not doing it justice like um if you google them they're just amazing you can kind of see there actually on this one all of the um I don't know what they are, like little, almost like hair things with then they've obviously got some kind of, I don't think it's extra full and extra, but it's, it's something like that that attracts the flies. And then you can also see in the middle that I've still got some, some new growth coming that haven't unfurled yet. So yes, that is the second one. And then the third one, I'll just swap it over again. 
this one is definitely my favorite it's um it's similar to the one i just showed you but this one is called the mini rosette so it's a smaller version um but look how sweet it is um so cute i just love the the green and i'm not a very big fan of like colorful house plants but i love how they're like this lime green and then they have the bright red like little hair things coming off of them so so interesting um and this one has caught three flies so three or four three or four i don't know what that is could be a fly um but yeah i mean a huge huge difference to the um to what they look like when i first got them in the hall like a, a month ago or just over a month ago um if you did watch that you will hopefully see how much they have grown but yeah i'm so happy with these um and then again so much new growth in the middle there ready to come out so yeah i'm really excited um just experimenting again with these plants i've not had carnivorous plants before um but yeah i'm really really enjoying how they've been growing so far which has like not been a lot at all they've only been in the house for a week um but yeah they are growing and they're catching flies and that is why i got them so yeah they are as far as i'm concerned doing what they're supposed to be doing so yeah i'll keep you updated um be interesting to see how big these get i don't know how big they can get but yeah i will keep you updated over the growing season as to how they're doing what they catch how big they get um so yeah if you want to see more updates like these then please do subscribe to my channel if you like this video then um please give it a like and leave me a comment if you have anything to add uh thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye